Come sit on the reading lap. Welcome to the reading lap. Tonight we're reading Little Owl's Night by Divya Srinivasan. Little Owl was having a wonderful night. He watched the funny possum family waddle along in a neat row. Hedgehog sniffed around the mushroom patch and Skunk was eating berries because he couldn't find any snails. By the river, beavers gnawed at trees and Turtle hid in her shell as fireflies danced all around. Little Owl visited his friend, the raccoon. As they sat in the clover, fog rolled in and hovered just overhead. Moths fluttered toward the moon. Silver dust fell from their wings. Little Owl wanted to follow, but it was time to head home. On the way, Little Owl flew by Grumbly Cave. Bear was inside, snoring up a storm. Wake up, Bear! Don't sleep all night, Little Owl sang. I want to show you the moon. But the bear kept snoring as usual. And Little Owl flew home to his tree, gazing at the sky. He wondered if the bear had ever seen the stars. Little Owl sat on his branch. How he loved the night forest. Frog croaked softly, and Cricket chirped smartly. Little Owl heard rustling at the foot of his tree. Fox had come to say hello. It was late now, and the bats were gliding home. Mama, Little Owl whispered, tell me again how night ends. Well, the moon and stars fade to ghosts, Mama said. Spider webs turn to silver threads. Dew drops sparkle on leaves and grass like tiny stars come down. Moon flowers close and morning glories open. The sky brightens from black to blue, blue to red, and red to gold. The rooster crows, the crows caw, and the day begins, Mama said. But Little Owl did not hear, because he was fast asleep. Thanks for joining us. Joining me today. If you love the book, please leave a comment. If you have any other great book ideas, or want me to read a favorite story, please leave the title in the comment section and I'll try to get to it as soon as possible. Come sit on the reading lap.